Okay, so sing that Mariah Carey song in your head, All I Want for Christmas, and then put these words to it. All I want for Christmas is someone to pay off all my debt. <sighs> Christmas budget. Yep. It's that time of year. I'm a little nervous. I was super excited for our Christmas budget going in. But we have had some expenses come up and they're probably going to kick in pretty soon. And I don't know how much they are. And it's going to directly impact something. The good news is this is the first Christmas that we have had sinking funds. And we actually have money set away for Christmas time. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, this is my husband Mauricio. And this is my daughter, Melina, who's six. We are currently working our way out of 250,000 plus worth of debt. So a lot of my videos on this channel are revolving around our current life plan and paying off debt and doing the Dave Ramsey plan. And then I also talk about momming and cooking and all things mom and working mom and so stick around and if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and then go click the bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because holy free holies people, Christmas is upon us and it's time to do the budget. Let me tell you this before I get into this whole video. I got a letter from the IRS a little while back and it basically said we had a very large sum of money sitting in one of their accounts and they didn't know why. And I thought to myself, huh, that's weird because I had paid my taxes every year. So I reached out for my tax guy who is amazing. And I said, I just got this letter. I don't understand what's going on. Well, as it turns out in 2015, I did my own taxes. Mistake number one, never do your own taxes, no matter how easy you think they're going to be. Um, I apparently submitted everything and there was a huge computer glitch or something and the IRS never got my tax returns. I, they got my check, they got my money, but they didn't get the electronic form. So I had to resubmit. Since I had done them myself and I had gotten a new tax person, I asked him to look them over and he said that they were completely screwed up and they needed to be redone. So for him to do them, that's $450. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with the 450. And then he sends me an email that says that I claimed some stuff that I'm not allowed to claim. Again, reason number two why I never should do my own taxes. I just, in 2015, we hadn't found somebody yet. And, and so I thought it'd be easier to do my own. Well, it's going to end up costing me more. So we actually owe more than the, I think we paid close to $60,000 in taxes that year. So we owe even more and I am waiting. It is right on the border between November and December. And I'm recording this a couple of days before December and I'm waiting. So it will probably show up pretty soon and I will have to write him a big old check for probably, I'm guessing around a thousand dollars. I'm not sure. So we will see how that goes. I'm really not excited about this. I love that this is happening right at Christmas time. For whatever reason, Christmas is a disastrous time for us. And I was super excited this year because we were going to finally like be ahead and we had a sinking fund for Christmas. And I was super excited that, you know, it was all going to go smoothly. And that is not going to be the case this year. So check out my mid month to find out how much I owe and what we're going to do and how we're paying for Christmas and all this loveliness. So our Christmas budget this year is $1,725. And I realize that is going to seem like a lot to you guys. We're happy with the amount we're spending and, and we, we were prepared for it. We weren't prepared for the tax debacle, but we were prepared for this. So this month we have our standard utilities. Our cell phone is $188.84 and our storage unit is $270. And if you're new to these parts and don't know why I have a storage unit, I will go and link that video 
still up in the eye in the sky and you can check that out. I'm not hoarding stuff in my storage unit. Everything we own is in storage. This you see back here is my mother's, not mine. So yeah, we have, uh, we pay every month for a storage unit until we are moving into our own house next summer. Woo -hoo, countdown is on. Last month we were painfully over for gas, but that was because we opted to fill up my father's car because I drove it um, quite a bit last month. And so we filled up my father's car and that thing's a gas guzzler. <laughs> I know I have an expedition that is equally as bad, if not worse. And so it's been a couple of months since we've uh, had that car. That car is with my sister-in-law right now, who is saving up to buy her own car and we've lent it to her and my parents have extra cars here. So, you know, we're not, we're not struggling for cars, it, but it's, you know, we drive the, the hybrid and, and it, um, it's pretty funny how much I hate spending money on gas now. So no oil change, no easy pass this month. Insurance and tax. We have our USAA insurance for the stuff in the storage unit and then also our cars. And that is $159.73. We have the CMFG insurance, which is $12.00. We have our USAA life insurance for me, which is ninety-one sixty-five, and my and we have life insurance for Mauricio, which is thirty-five eighty-three. Now you will see that both of the USAAs are zero, and that is because that money gets pulled directly out of my paycheck and immediately deposited into that account. So that money never actually crosses our budget, but I want to track them because they are in fact expenses. Our next category is medical. We have no medical expenses, no doctor's appointments for this month. In my YouTube category, everything stayed the same with two exceptions. You'll notice next Monday that Pick Monkey got really expensive. It was $42. What happened, and I'll explain it, but basically I'm now paying Pick Monkey annually. So come January, this isn't even going to be a line item. And we had a similar situation with the Umi Downloader. They now had a lifetime purchase rather than a monthly service and the lifetime purchase was $39.99 and I was paying $9.99 a month. So in four months of having it, I would, you know, have it forever and I planned on keeping it. So, uh, yeah, that's the way I'm going. So next month I am planning on purchasing that and then two buddy backblaze and morning fame are all the same as they have been. And in the Molina category, we have before and after care for $590 a month. Now I will tell you, I'm not a hundred percent sure because school is only two weeks in December, maybe three, two and a half weeks, maybe. Um, it's only till the week before Christmas. I don't know that the before and after care is going to be the full 590. I won't know that until I pay the bill. Um, but what I do know is that there is winter camp for the two weeks that school is out and that is $424. And she's just doing her standard like SAC program offered by the school. And, and so it's not terribly expensive and it should be fun and her friends will be there. Melina's school bucks, which is her food. She likes to buy food on Fridays and we allow her to pretty much buy whatever she wants. Here's the thing I discovered at her school on Thanksgiving, the parents could come in and have like Thanksgiving dinner. It was the week before Thanksgiving, the Friday before, and the parents could come in and have Thanksgiving dinner with their kids. And it was super cute. And you know, she got her plate of food and here's what I discovered at school. She'll eat anything at home. She won't. She was eating green beans. I mean, this child now I will give you the green beans they had at school were canned green beans and we always do fresh green beans. So we're talking a totally different taste, a totally different texture. And I'm sure that's why she liked the green beans, but I may actually start serving her canned green beans because she'll actually eat them. We let her buy her lunch anytime she wants, but she's pretty much decided that she will only buy lunch on Fridays and every once in a while she'll buy breakfast. So $40 a month really has been more than enough for that. And we have $25 for miscellaneous school expenses. 
So also this month, I realized that we needed new snow boots for Melina just in case it snows. So I will probably buy them a little bit big for her so she can wear them for a couple of years. I have a tendency to do that with boots because they're expensive. So um, yeah, I don't know which snow boots we're going to get. I've looked at the Columbia, the Keen. Um, I am totally a hundred percent in love with these Boggs boots from LL Bean. When I went to like put them on my Pinterest for next month, they were already sold out of Molina's size. So I don't know. I don't know if they're going to have them by the time Christmas roll or by the time December rolls around. So I'm moving on into the Mauricio and Wendy's categories. We have nothing set aside for us. Both of us are getting desperate for a few items of clothes. I, I need a white shirt and some shoes and I will probably be going the cheapest route I can. And I'm totally cool with buying stuff on Poshmark. I absolutely love Poshmark. But I will tell you that I find that people overprice things. People get cocky on Poshmark. I'm like, dude, your clothes are used. You should not be charging $75 for a blouse. So I am super picky about what I will buy on Poshmark. And people need to be reasonable about their pricing on Poshmark. I do always negotiate prices. And and there were are a couple of other things I would love to have, but not in the budget. Mauricio is in the same boat. He found a pair of winter boots that he really... They're like dress boots that he can wear to work if it's crappy out, um, but they are super expensive. And so, yeah, we're not getting them anytime soon. So in our cash envelopes, we are going to keep our grocery budget at 250. Come the end of the month, we actually did okay. It's super stressful for me trying to keep it under 250. At some point, I probably will up it. But yeah, 250 is is tight for us. We have $200 for blow money. We have $20 for the dry cleaner, $25 for a haircut for Mauricio. And I have been actually like using his, his electric shaver to trim the hairs on the back of his neck. So he doesn't have to go in like every two weeks anymore, which is lovely. Um, $20 for Sally Beauty, Beauty Supply and $100 for family outings. And that $100 is going to Meadowlark Park for sure for the Winter Walk of Lights because it is awesome. And then in our recurring and annual fees, we have $29.97 for iTunes, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, which you will notice we do not get charged every month. Um, but we always have it in there just in case, um, because some months something may happen at home and Mauricio spends more time talking to his family in Colombia. And the reason we don't do it over the internet is because his parents don't have the internet. So he has to call them over their cell phone and Skype actually provides us the best rate for that. And it's easy. He can use his cell phone to call them, or he can come and use the computer, either one. And then in December, we have our $99 Amazon annual fee for Amazon Prime. And I am always going to pay that. I love Amazon Prime. I'm I'm just a huge Amazon fan. I'm an Amazon file. <laughs> it's a word. And then we have $3.99 for Amazon Music. And you will notice we have Apple Music and Amazon Music. And the Amazon Music is actually for Melina because in Melina's room, she has Alexa and she likes to listen to music in her room. And it allows her to, to tell Alexa whatever she wants to listen to and it'll just play, which is usually like the Moana soundtrack or the Frozen soundtrack or, you know, whatever song she wants to play. And then we have another $22 in there for parking expenses for Mauricio. And our sinking funds are the same, $725. And I am super excited about having sinking funds this year. I mean, like massively excited. Um, these sinking funds have made Christmas almost a stress-free sort of thing. It's It's so liberating to me to not have to worry about money anymore at, at Christmas time. And, you know, last year, if you didn't see that video, I'll put a, a link to it in the eye in the sky. But um, last year we massively blew the Christmas budget. And 
every year prior to that, I'm paid on a biweekly basis. So I get three paychecks in December. And I always did my budget for three paychecks that I couldn't ever get it right. And things were overdrafting or I spend too much. And it was all very confusing and I could not figure it out. So the way we compensated for that is we budgeted out our expenses so that what we earn in one month goes to pay the bills in the next month. So what we earned in November goes to pay our December bills. So we will have three paychecks coming in December for me, but not for Mauricio because Mauricio is paid twice a month on the 15th and the 30th, whereas I am paid every two weeks. So that extra paycheck this year will actually really save us with this whole tax thing. I was looking forward to putting that whole extra paycheck to debt, but at least we will have the money to pay this tax bill at Christmas time and it's not going to break us. So yeah, this is a huge thing for us. This is a huge step in the right direction. So at the beginning in January, we will reevaluate our sinking funds. I'm probably going to up our medical sinking fund again for next year. And we will probably not touch it this year. If we can avoid it, we might, I don't know. The car repair and replace is staying at 100. We'll probably be upping the Christmas sinking fund, but all of the rest of them, the summer camp one, we need to consider like being realistic about it and moving it up to $500, but probably not until we're out on our own and have our expenses like the way they should be. Because Honestly, $100 isn't even going to put a dent in the summer camp. It's just not. $100 is $1,200. Summer camp's like between four and $6,000, depending on where we go. The work travel expenses is almost done. And anniversary, we're just saving that money. And then at our anniversary time, we'll decide if we're actually going anywhere or not. So this month for online shopping, I don't have very much in my cart, but um, I needed some silver polish and a tortilla warmer. <laughs> I know that one I may not even buy. It's, it's not a necessity, but it is something that I've been dying for for a long time. Um, I had one and it has disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. And I love it because it will keep the tortillas warm for hours. It's, um, it's actually Cosina where I'll put a link to it down below in the description box. It is the best tortilla warmer in the history of man. Um, we got it in Mexico and they are fantastic. And I mean, literally you can make tortillas in the morning from scratch and put them in there. And in the afternoon, they'll still be hot. So it's fantastic. Love it. So I don't know what happened to it though. It's just, it's probably in this house somewhere or it accidentally, most likely it accidentally got thrown away. So, and this month I need makeup and most of my makeup, like mascara and stuff, I am okay with buying at the drugstore, but I am not okay with buying foundation or eyeliner at the drugstore. I buy one brand of eyeliner, it's Stila. And I buy one brand of foundation and it's makeup forever. And, uh, the Stila eyeliner is waterproof eyeliner. And when I use any other kind of eyeliner, I end up with eye problems. And I think it's because I wear contacts. So I will always buy the Stila eyeliner. It's expensive, I know, but it lasts forever. So it's time for me to buy some more. I hate that I have these extraneous expenses at Christmas time, but that's uh, just the way it worked out. And then we have our $100 cushion in there for things that just come up when they come up. And things I'm not planning for. So this month is super exciting for our debt payoff. Last month we paid off Mauricio's overdraft protection account. And this month on December 1st, I will be writing a check for mine. The balance on my overdraft is $1,609.73. And that will be paid off. And we, as soon as that that payment clears, I will be closing that, which is super scary to me. And then the rest of our snowball will be going to pay our largest loan. That will be the next debt that we pay off, which is the Navy Federal Credit Union loan. And right now we have that sitting at $2,669.11. 
And then we're making our regular credit card payment at 260, our car loan at 465. Our USAA loan will be getting $1,779.90. And then our tax loan will get $300. Now you will notice the USAA and tax loan are getting more than normal. And that is because it is a three paycheck month for me. So because my USAA loan is automatically drafted out of my paycheck at um, I will be making three biweekly payments to that in December and then also three biweekly payments to the tax loan. So our total for to debt this month is $7,083.74, which is a excellent payment. It's over $7,000, which is the payment that we are aiming for every month. We basically have decided that if we pay $7,000 to debt every month, we will be able to have the biggest loan paid off in September. Now, what y'all I'm sure are waiting for is our our Christmas budget. Our Christmas budget, as I mentioned before, is $1,725. And we are pretty much hitting that like a nail on the head. And here is where all of that money is going. We have $100 for a Christmas gift for Mauricio, $100 for a Christmas gift for me, $500 for Melina's Christmas gifts. And that includes presents from Santa and from us. And yeah, Melina's going to be bored with our presents from us this year because they're going to be things like snow boots and clothes and all those things that she needs. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, but Santa will bring her awesome presents and she will be super excited about that. And then we have $100 for a gift for Winka and Winka is my mother and a $100 gift for Wiki, who is my father. And then $100 for each one of Melina's cousins. Um, we have an agreement with, and her two cousins are my brother's children. And we have an agreement with my brother and his wife that we don't exchange adult presents, just kid presents. So it actually, you know, saves us another 200 bucks there. So $100 for Tio and Tia, Mauricio's sister and her husband. And then $200 for Mauricio's parents, which we will send in money form and let them buy their own presents or pay bills or whatever they opt to do with it. And then we will give a gift to Melina's kindergarten teacher for $50 and $25 for her assistant. And then I, as you all know, I am a supervisor at work. And so I am going to take my staff to a escape room for Christmas. And that is $27 per person. And so, you know, I thought it'd be fun. Hopefully they'll like it. I still need to get approval from my supervisor to make sure that she's okay with that. But that is my plan as of this moment. So... I've got this weird funky thing going on with the top of my hair because Melina and I played hair salon last night and um, last night was not a night for me to wash my hair. There's a lot of hairspray going on up here that won't come out until I wash my hair tonight. So yeah, I, it's a thing. That is all I have for you today. So make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.